before you go ahead and target any SEO keyword on your website, whether it's a page or a blog post, there's one thing that people always seem to overlook. And this could really hold you back from getting the SEO ranking results that you're hoping for. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the one thing that so many people don't do before they start targeting keywords on their website. Okay, so I'm just gonna kick it over to a screen share because it's gonna be a lot easier to explain it there. So what I'm about to say is, is going to sound super simple, but hey, it's often the simple things that get overlooked, okay? So before you target a keyword on your website, please take a second and go to Google and Google it. Google that keyword that you want your website to show up on page one for, okay? And the reason why we want to do this is because we want to be able to see how Google sees that keyword because sometimes it doesn't really align with how we see the keyword. So I have a little story to explain this here and I'm gonna show you an example. So I had a client and we were doing some keyword research and she was a public speaking coach. And she was like, hey Mariah, I wanna show up on page one for the phrase powerful speaker. And I was like, cool, let's go to Google and Google it. So let's see what shows up when we type in powerful speaker audio speakers, stereo speakers, okay? So if we didn't go in and Google it and we just decided to target powerful speaker on her website, we likely aren't going to get the results that we think that we're going to get because we didn't take the time to understand the user intent behind that specific keyword. So many people, when they first start getting started with doing SEO keyword research, they'll only focus on two metrics. They'll focus on the keyword difficulty and how competitive it is. And they'll make their keyword targeting decisions based on those numbers without actually Googling the keyword itself. And that's important, like I said, to make sure that the user intent and to make sure that like how you see the keyword and the content or the solution or the problem that you're about to solve also aligns with how Google sees that keyword. So if this happens to you, typically the solution would be to target a more specific keyword. So it's like, what words can we add to this phrase in order to change the perspective of the keyword and change that, that user intent there, okay? So maybe it would be become a powerful speaker because the people searching for this keyword are also going to run into the same thing. So it's like people could be looking for a public speaking coach and they could come to Google and type in powerful speaker, but they're also going to be hit with these audio and stereo speakers. So they're going to have to come back to the drawing board and add more words to their search to get it more specifically aligned with the content that they wish to find on here. So start typing some additional words to make your key phrase more specific and take note of these suggestions that pop down here as you're typing things in. So a lot of people think that these Google suggestions are based on your specific search history, but they're actually based on popular search phrases and what Google thinks you're going to type in based on what most people type in. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can look at these and so maybe how to become a powerful speaker. And then we can scroll down and see what kind of content is showing up on here. Is it a sales page? Is it a course? Is it YouTube videos? Is it questions? Is it a blog post? So that's why it's always super important to Google the keyword before you start targeting it on your website so that you can get a better understanding of that keyword so that you can create the best solution to the problem that aligns with user intent and the solution that the user expects to find when searching for that keyword. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this example and this tip helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. 
And if you have any other questions about SEO or SEO keyword research, then definitely leave me a comment below the video and let me know what kind of information you're craving so that I can create more videos that are helpful for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next video.